If you're not already familiar with the Google Ads quality score, this little indicator can really help you understand the performance of your ads. And ultimately, at the end of the day, the better your ads are performing, usually the better your results are, right? The lower your cost per conversion, the more conversions you get, etc. Now, if you don't already have the quality score in your account here, uh, you can get there by going to the columns right here, click modify, and then you'll just do a search for quality and you'll see quality score here. You can click on it. That's going to add it into the columns over here. It'll usually add it at the very bottom. So I like to drag it up somewhere where I can actually see it. And then you'll click apply. And now you'll see your quality score column right here. And I'm in the new Google ads experience. You can switch between the new and the old one. Uh, but from here, we are in a Google ads campaign and ad group. So we have selected a campaign and ad group from the top, and then we just go to search terms or search keywords, I mean. And then that's where we're able to find the columns, add the quality score in here, and we'll see a different score for each keyword. And that's really what you want to focus on is the quality score for the keywords initially. Uh, it's not necessarily going to show you a quality score for like your ads. Uh, that's going to be an ad uh, rank or uh, they have a different score for that ad quality I think is what they call it and it's like average poor excellent but your quality score is really calculated through your click-through rate your ad relevance and your landing page experience so your click-through rate is really just how likely people are to click on your ad when it shows up in the search results and your ad relevance is how closely your ad matches the intent behind a search term that somebody puts in Google and the landing page experience is how relevant and useful your landing page is to people who click your ad. And this is important. It needs to be both relevant and useful, which also helps with the ad relevance and not necessarily a click through rate. This is more on the ad side. But there are some ways that we can improve our quality score. So we can see that like this keyword right here has a 3 out of 10 quality score has zero conversions. We've spent $23 on this keyword. It's actually not doing all that hot so far. Um, this one is also kind of in the same boat. It has one conversion at $20, also has a three out of 10 quality score, not doing that great. Whereas the two below that, they jump up to a five out of 10 quality score. Each of those has two conversions at $5 and $4 respectively. This one looks like it's performing pretty good. So we can sort of see a little bit of a trend forming here, right? Not only that, but we'll see that these actually have a pretty high click-through rate with the exception of this one, uh, but 18% and 12%, right? And that's a part, if we refer back to here, the click-through rate is a part of how our quality score is calculated. So that's something we want to maintain uh, is the click-through rate and try to improve that as time goes on, which we'll talk about some ways so you can do that here in a second. So in general, we want to see which keywords are performing well, see which ones have a low quality score, right? Once we've determined the keywords that have a low quality score, we can start working on ways to improve the quality score. And the thing that's jumping out at me right now is we probably need to have a landing page and an ad and everything that talks about car detailing and car detailing in Portland. And in this campaign, I think we mix in auto detailing and car detailing and car cleaning. And so it's kind of a mix of keywords and ads all going to one landing page, which is causing some issues with the quality score. So we, we can take a look at the different ways to improve the quality score here. Google actually gives us some different ways. First thing is to analyze the components of the way that the quality score is calculated. That's pretty obvious. So improve your click-through rate, your ad relevance, and landing page experience. And then it goes a little bit deeper to say make your ads more relevant to keywords. So if your ad relevance has a status of below average or average, try these best practices, match the language of your ad text more directly to the terms that people search, right? So that's going to be one of the biggest things is when somebody searches for, for instance, 
car detailing near me. We want an ad to show up that says car detailing in the area or car detailing in Portland or whatever the area is that they're searching for, right? If our ad says we offer mobile detailing services and that ad is showing up when somebody searches for car detailing, uh, that's probably not going to perform quite as well. But if the keyword is auto detailing Portland, right, like this, and our ad headline says auto detailing in Portland, Oregon, then there's going to be a high relevancy because the keyword that somebody searched for is literally right in the ad that they're seeing when they do that search. And that's our ad. And so they're like, hey, I just searched for auto detailing in Portland. And I see this ad here that says they're, they're doing auto detailing in Portland. So I'm going to click on that ad and see if they can help me out. So that's the relevancy, right? We want to make sure that things are highly congruent. We also want to try to improve the click-through rate as much as possible. So the higher your click-through rate is, the better uh, user experience in, in Google Ads eyes. And so they want to continue to give more clicks to you versus somebody who has a poor user experience. Because at the end of the day, Google wants people to have a good user experience on Google so that they keep coming back, clicking on ads, and Google can keep making money, right? If everyone stops using Google, they stop making money on the ads, which nobody wants. Right? Uh, so to improve your click-through rate, there's a handful of different things you can do. But I like to look at some examples here. So if we just search for like auto detailing Mesa, Arizona, we can see this ad show up here at the very top. And it says full, full service auto detail in Mesa, Arizona. So it almost has exactly the keyword that we searched, auto detailing Mesa, Arizona. This says auto detail in Mesa, Arizona, but it's so closely related that it's probably going to be getting a pretty high click-through rate. Now on top of that, they also have some extensions or assets added to their ad. These are site link extensions as they used to be called. Now they're called site link assets. <laughs> I guess everyone just calls them extensions still. So, uh, but you can see these make the ad take up a significant portion of the page here. And they have an image. So if I'm looking for an auto detailer in Mesa, Arizona, the chances are I'm going to click on this ad first before I even consider looking at these two ads down here because they're just really small. There's just basic text. There's only one link. They don't really look all that. I mean, this one looks kind of nice because it's got the logo here, but this one also has a logo plus an image, uh, plus um, some lo uh, local extension, lo location extensions. Uh, so all of those things are going to improve the click-through rate of this ad. So what, I, what I'm getting at is if you just set up a basic ad and you don't have any extensions, you don't have image extensions, you don't have site link extensions, you don't have call-out extensions, location extensions, then you're probably going to get a lower click-through rate and to improve your quality score, you can improve your click-through rate by adding some of those extensions in there, which is going to cause more people to click on your ads when they're showing up. And that's going to improve both your quality or your click-through rate and your quality score. This one, this is where it gets a little bit tricky is updating your landing page. So when we do this search right here and we look for auto detailing in Mesa, Arizona, we see this website pull up. I just type this. Uh, we detail az.com into my browser over here and this is the page it looks like they're sending people to from that ad and if you remember the keyword we searched was auto detailing mesa arizona and right here they have auto detail in mesa arizona it's not exactly the same because we typed auto detailing and this is just auto detail but that comes back to the uh, relevancy if you remember we highlighted there's the landing page experience is broken down into two components which is how relevant the landing page is and then how useful the landing page is right and in this example this landing page is highly relevant because right at the very top the main headline on this landing page is the exact keyword that we searched when their ad showed up so when we searched Auto Detailing Mesa, Arizona, we found that exa almost exact keyword in their headline on their ad. And then we also found it in the headline right at the very top of their landing page. And that is going to make the landing page appear as relevant. 
especially in Google Ads eyes, because Google Ads is actually crawling your landing page to see what you're talking about on here. And when they see that same keyword on here, it's going to help improve your uh, quality score and your, your landing page relevance. And then the usefulness of your landing page, obviously it needs to have the information people are looking for, be able to, you know, people need to be able to easily find the information they're looking for in just a few clicks and be able to reach out to you and get in touch. So if you have a landing page with like a headline and a call now button and there's nothing else on it, people probably aren't going to stay on that landing page for very long. They're probably not going to use it much and it's not going to appear as useful in the ads in the eyes of Google ads. So a useful landing page is going to be one where people can find what they're looking for, uh, get some uh, get some useful information and reach out to you without having to hit the back button and go look at five other websites and end up talking with them, right? So that would be the landing page. And then the last item that Google Ads tells us here to improve our quality score is kind of just like a summary of everything. It's like, you know, go through your click-through rate, your conversion rate, your engagement, kind of just assess what's going on with your ads and start comparing everything together. So look at your quality score and compare that to your ad relevance and your click-through rate and your landing page experience and just start figuring out where you can make improvements to have your ads be more congruent so that when somebody does a search your ad looks like it is talking about exactly what they're searching for and by the time they land on your landing page it's talking exactly about the thing that they were looking for right how do you do this in a practical terms? Uh, typically, the way you do that is by setting up more ad groups. So right now we have an ad group selected that has a whole bunch of different keywords in it. And some of the quality scores are higher, some of them are lower. You can see this one's actually pretty high. It's an eight, point, uh, eight, 8 out of 10. Uh, some of these are super low, like 1 out of 10. What we could do is start regrouping these keywords into new ad groups and set up additional ads that are more relevant for those ads or for those keywords as well as ad groups or landing pages oh my gosh that's confusing <laughs> so right now we have one ad group with a whole bunch of keywords and a couple of ads in it but because these are all slightly different it might be a little bit off so instead we could take all of the terms that talk about car detailing and put those into an ad group and then have the ad say we offer car detailing, right? And then we could have another ad group that talks about auto detailing and have the ads talk about auto detailing, have the landing page talk about auto detailing. We could have another ad group that talks about car interior detailing and then have the landing page talk about car interior detailing and put those in an ad group. So we basically just take this one ad group and split it into a bunch of more relevant more refined, more congruent ad groups that have keywords that are on the same topic and then related ads that are on the same topic and landing pages that are on the same topic. Once you do that, your quality score is going to improve and you're just going to see better results overall, lower cost per click, better uh, conversion rates, lower cost per conversion, all that sort of stuff. So I hope you found this helpful. If there's anything you did have questions about in terms of the Google Ads quality score or anything of that nature, don't hesitate to reach out and just drop your questions in the comments section below and I'll be sure to get back to them there. Look, if you're the type of person that just doesn't even want to deal with Google Ads anymore, <laughs> then you can always reach out to me. Uh, my company is Missoula SEO Geek. I'll leave a link to my website down below, but we do manage Google Ads for different companies and different industries and you can come learn about what we do, what makes us unique. You can even read some of the testimonials from some businesses that we've taken from zero to over a million in revenue like this one here. And really just see that, you know, this is the type of thing that's going to explode your business growth. So feel free to reach out. You can always give us a call or contact us through our website and look forward to working with you.